2023. Week one kickoff is just hours away. And the question is, can the Buccaneers survive without Tom Brady? That's right. The 2023 season is about to kick off. The Tom Brady era is over and the Baker Mayfield era starts. Now, for the Buccaneers, Baker Mayfield has not been great as a week one starter. He is 0-4 as a starter on opening day. Will that change this season? Yo, I sure hope so. Hey, this is former Buccaneers defensive tackle James Canada, and this is big game Peter Picks. So, everyone's writing off the Buccaneers, guys. Since Tom Brady's left, everyone said that this is going to be a rough season. The Buccaneers have not extended Mike Evans. Um, Jensen is out for the year. Um, we have a new offensive coordinator, and it makes it easy, I believe, to pick against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But going into this week, we know that the Minnesota Vikings are coming off of a 13-win season. A lot of those wins were comeback wins, wins that they not, did not win by big margins, but they were a scrappy team. In today's game, I honestly believe the Buccaneers have a chance to win this game if they do just a few things right. First and foremost, Canella said that he's going to establish the run with Rashad White and then utilize play action pass. So let's hope that we can do that. Let's hope that the Buccaneers can come out and establish a run game, make some good things happen, open up play action pass, and not put the game into Baker Mayfield's hands, having to make a whole lot of big downfield passes. Number two, bottle up Kirk Cousins. I believe this defense can do this. I'm excited to see what Shaq Barrett looks like coming off the injury. I want to see Joe Tryon Shanka kick it in this year because this is his third year and he has to turn it on. And also, the first round pick, Kalijah Kansi. If these guys can stop the run and put pressure on Kirk Cousins, it puts our defense in a very good place. Our secondary, um, Carlton Davis, Jamel Dean, they have a tough task. Justin Jefferson is one of the best in the game right now, but if we can cover him, which I think helps, which will be helped by our pass rush, we can make some good things happen. You know, the Buccaneers are a five-point underdog in this game, and the over-under is 45 points, I think it is. But I believe this is a game that we can go out and get. If the offensive line can get a little pressure for us to run, the defensive line puts pressure on Kirk Cousins, and that secondary can hold up against Jefferson and other Vikings wide receivers, Buccaneers have a chance to win this game. Now, I do think in traditional fashion of how Minnesota played last year, us not knowing what our offense really is yet with Baker Mayfield, I think it may be a low-scoring game. I don't know if it's going to get to that 45-point uh, plus, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the Buccaneers win on the road. Baker Mayfield gets over the hump of not being able to win that opening day game as a starter. He gets it done today by a final score of 21-17. to 17. Buccaneers win. Buccaneer fans, let me know what you think. Do you think the Buccaneers have a chance to win week one in Minnesota, and how will we fare this year? Again, this is Buccaneer, former Buccaneers defensive tackle James Canada, and this is Big Game's Peter Perspective slash Picks. Until next week, I'll see you later.